Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video, we are going to see how you can add uh, um, custom trigger templates uh, within uh, Matomo Tag Manager. So the typical use case is the following one. Um, so here you have the possibility in Matomo Tag Manager trigger um, a tag according to the clicks, to the page view, to the user engagement, to uh, other things. But uh, what about adding a trigger which is not out of all those different categories? Well, most of the people, what they're doing is that they're creating a custom HTML tag. Uh, but uh, what if that uh, you don't want uh, to use a custom HTML tag and you would like to have your own entry over there in order to uh, clearly say that you want to, to create something new? Um, so in my case, uh, what we do in this uh, given uh, tutorial, we'll explain how you can do it, not based on click, page view, or user engagement, but based on uh, press on the keys of your keyboards. Um, so in order to help you, you have a great documentation. I followed this one, honestly, developer.matomo.org, in order to create a custom uh, template, and it was really good. Uh, there's just the ended part that I could not do on my own. Uh, that's about the JavaScript part, but by chance, uh, Lucas helped me. Uh, so Lucas Rickler helped me in order to uh, uh, make this final part, which will uh, probably uh, overcome the main uh, difficulty that you're going to face. So um, I also created a full tutorial that you can see uh, over here on the Floss Marketing School. So um, your best friend will be your um, the official source of information. Then uh, what you need to do first is that you need to execute the console within a Matomo, uh, on your Matomo server. So the console in order to generate tag major trigger. So you just need to execute this given uh, line of code. And then when you do so, so I can just do it like this just for you in order to see how it looks like. Uh, so you need to access to your server, which is exactly where I am right now. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, and here you get the console. Okay, so you fire in fact your uh, line of code like this because you are exactly at the level where the console is, and then it's gonna ask you uh, which plugin you would like to edit. So in your case, that's the tag manager because uh, the template in tag manager belongs to a tag manager. And then here they're gonna ask you the name of your trigger. So here I'm not gonna uh, do it again, but in my case I named it the Konami code because that's exactly the trigger that I'm gonna add in this. A specific situation. So then um, you need to edit the JSON file of the tag major plugin. So this is at the tag major plugin level because what you want to do is that you want to give the information dealing with uh, the, the template in itself. Okay, so here if you go on plugins, okay, here you get the tag manager and within the tag manager you get this given uh, file which is called en.js. Uh, so here I'm within it, and it's uh, within the language. So you need to lengo, and then uh, here you see the different language. And if you do cat en, uh, you will get in fact this file, and then uh, so this is a JSON file on which you need to edit uh, your information. So in my case, I need to enter uh, the information Konami code, and then the their description, and then the L part. So in fact, all those um, lines of description that you can see here are the one which are uh, over here. Okay, um, then next step is about, um, so here I just did it, uh, da, 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 third step, assigning the trigger to a category. So those are the categories, okay? Page views, clicks are the category. Uh, so here in Matomo, uh, so here in the documentation, they are telling you how you should do that. So you should access to the uh, template that uh, that you created. So here, uh, let's say in my case, so that was the Konami code. So typically, I had to went back uh, on my on my plugin and then so you access to the template you access to your trigger because this is what you are doing and in my case um, it was within the file name konami code trigger.php which have been automatically generated when i created the the template and then if you look uh, through it konami code da 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 oops sorry for that php okay here you get in fact uh, the different line that you need to edit 
and here uh, the category is set like this. So here, because I entered return keys, it's gonna create a category which is named keys. Okay, next uh, it's gonna add, ask you to add the icon. So you will need to edit this given file, PHP file that I was showing you where you need to add the icon. And um, the best thing is actually to store the image of your file within Matomo slash plugin tag manager slash images slash icons, so to say. Uh, here you get, doo -doo -doo. Uh, here if you do something like this, uh, so tag manager, okay, here you get a folder as you can see which is named images and this is within this given um, folder that you can see the different um, different icon in fact so the one that you can see over here right you see those icons are coming from this given folder so you need to upload in fact your uh, icons on this uh, given folder here I strongly recommend you uh, to use Inkscape because Inkscape can play with SVG file which means that uh, your icon will look uh, will look pretty nice so this is what I did I uploaded the Konami uh, icon and in fact as a final result you can you can see it like this uh, do, 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 do. So that's um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me uh, manage the trigger, create a new trigger. As you can see, it looks like this. So I get my category, which is called keys. Then I get my description, and here I get, in fact, the icon as I as I wish to have. Uh, fifth step is about uh, adding settings. Uh, so in my case, I don't have any settings to add because my trigger this Konami uh, trigger is just a set of uh, keys and I don't want to give the possibility to the end user to add um, additional uh, settings. So if I click on it, as you can see, uh, the only thing I could do is just to select uh, the additional filter that I want, but I don't have the possibility to add any settings, which is the case if you take, for example, uh, do, 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 do. If you take uh, element visibility, for example, here you will get those are the, the settings. Okay, those are the different fields that you can specify information about. Okay, um, and then the last step is about editing the file, which is uh, the web.js file, which have been as well automatically uh, generated. So uh, that's typically what we could have seen. Over here, you see, so two files have been created, the PHP, so this is where you put all the information which will be displayed to the end user, and this part is about the code in itself, so let's say the heart of your uh, of your trigger. So when you generate it for the first time, this is the code that uh, Matomo is showing you, however, this code out, um, I had no idea what it really meant. Um, in my case, I knew that the uh, Konami code was the following one and I uh, had no idea how can I insert this one into this one and this is where uh, Lucas uh, helped me and in fact what you should do is so you should keep almost everything over here but it's just that after trigger event uh, this is where in fact uh, you're gonna copy and paste uh, your uh, your code and it's gonna do the, the magic okay so I guess that if you look at the comparison between uh, those three files out there you will be able to do exactly so as I did. So here what I did afterward is that just, I just um, did it, sorry, I just did it like this. So it's just basically just a, a copy and paste. Okay, and a cat and Konami trigger web.js. And that's, so I just copy and paste it. And as a result, uh, what's going to happen now is that, uh, so what I did here is that I created um, a script. I wish I could have, uh, okay, another view, this one. Um, so what I did now is I created a, a fake tag, um, a fake tag, which is named uh, custom HTML. And this custom HTML tag uh, is going to just say, okay, hey guys, it works. Hey guys it works. So this script is going to be executed when uh, the trigger Konami code will be uh, executed, which is my case over here. I'm going to just update it to show you uh, that it works. And uh, I'm going to publish the version Konami Live. Konami Live. 
Okay, and uh, I'm just gonna remove the preview mode. I'm gonna just uh, disable preview, and that's it. Okay, disable the preview mode, and uh, let's make it so localhost. No, oh, sorry for that. I need to access to my website, which is localhost wp5 something and WordPress. WordPress. Okay, so that's that's the website. So normally, if I do up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, I'm getting my uh, script, which is fired properly. So I could even uh, show you how it looks like when it's um, and when it's under preview mode, let's activate it. I suspect uh, that by adding this custom trigger, I may have done something wrong because as you can see, every time that I'm doing something within the tag module, it goes back within uh, within the Zen mode, but never mind. Uh, okay, so here it's how it looks like. And if I do the code, okay, I'm getting it like this, Konami code and and fired and that's everything that i wanted to show you for today so hope you enjoyed this video and hope it will uh, help you uh, creating a custom uh, trigger uh, template within uh, matom 180 and more thank you very much to lucas winkler for its help